Hey guys, welcome back to Elix. So today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to go backwards. We to... could learn much from these ruins. Yes, Falk, we could. We absolutely could. But there was an amulet we missed that we're going to get. Plus, well, then we're going to go to a uh, another area we haven't been to yet that we know that's there. And you get another amulet there. And we're going to get and learn chemistry today. We are going to start making our own Elix potions for crying out loud. I am so done with this. Yeah, see, this is where we didn't go last time. Right here. I think it's very risky for us to be here. Oh my goodness, we actually won our first fight. I am so happy. Let's grab all this stuff here real quick. And then down here at the end, I have been told, is the amulet. Let's see, here, see we got a poacher's amulet, but this gives us lock picking plus one. Alright, now we're going to head, where we want to go is here, so we're going to head, wait, I think right here is where we either here or here, this little place we want to go to, it's another amulet. See if I can get my bearings straight here. We want to go here to buy our liquor and stuff. I think, I think this is where it is right here. It's either this one or it's this one. So we'll go to this one first. Might help if I actually put a marker on there, right? some issues with my uh, system so hopefully it's not recording what it looks like to me so it's horrible so my monitor is uh, connection broke I got a temporary one to be able to keep recording for you guys to steal whatever this guy has and can. Thank you. Ooh, it's got a chest right here. Gotcha. Too easy. If you say so. something bad in here. Initiating combat. Farm worker. 
I've never been here before, so this is interesting. Herbert! No, 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 no. Get out of there. I thought. So we're not far off. We actually want to go right here. This area. Right where the water and traders at. Over there. No time to waste. I'm running. Maybe there's some time to waste. As you wish. Oh wait, it doesn't say those are bad guys. As you wish. There's a camp here. As you wish. I will be taking all your stuff, thank you. building around here somewhere. So, you want to fight? No, I didn't want to fight. Oh! I shoot. am right behind you. <laughs> yeah, that worked out well. <laughs> okay, first of all, I'm in complete idiot. It's not that far away. It's literally right here when you come off the teleporter in this tower. So we want to go this way. Go over there. This is a dangerous area. chest right here. Thief Samulet, that's what we want. Alright, so we got that. We got the points to spend. But we don't have the dexterity yet. I think we have to have 25 dexterity and even put our points into that. So the next thing I'm going to work on is leveling up so we can get that one. So once I get the dexterity points we need, I'll bring you guys back and I'll show you a trick. This is one of the other places you're going to want to get to. Uh, let's remove my marker. I'm going to say the name of the place. It's like the center city or something like that. Well, let's find the teleporter here. There it is. Camp in the center.
But this is a good place, from what I've seen, to sort of buy liquor. Nothing hostile? Let's see, where's the... Hey you! Where do you think you're going? Who are you? Another one of them, are you? You think you can wander in here and start asking questions and demanding things to you? Yes. Well, better keep your weapon sheathed and your hands to yourself. That way we won't have any trouble with each other, okay? What is this place? It's a refuge. It's the last refuge from the Alb converters for many. For others, it is a stronghold of freedom. For me, it is my mission in life. Everyone looking for protection will find it here with us. That is my promise. You, however, don't look like you need protection. So, that makes me wonder. If you're not here seeking refuge... We need all the protection we can get. Who are you? Are you in charge here? Me? No. That's Lloyd. He's the only one crazy enough to try and keep this place together. But don't go bothering him with small stuff. He has better things to do than waste his time on strays. Looks like there's different what types here. What do you here. do here? I take care of Origin's defenses. If you believe in a dream, you have to protect it. And how is that job going? Why the interest in our defenses? Who sent you? I'm just making conversation. Conversation? And it just happens to be about our defenses. Don't think you can get around me that easily, asshole. What? I really am just making conversation. Sure. Right. Let's speak straight and keep things clear. I see you step out of order here. I will have you put down. Well, Eckert don't like me. these people. And I don't know who you are. I understand. I guess time will tell, won't it? What can I do to help people here? You really want to do that? Well, we can always do with more weapons. But above all, we need more people. Experienced people to help defend this place. See, these so are the people I would find people with combat skills for you. Exactly. From all sides. People you can one. rely on. Loyal people you can trust. Farmers and refugees here. They do their best. We need some real fighters. People who've been out in the wilderness and survive. If you meet anyone out there you'd trust to watch your back, who'd fight alongside you, well, I guess you can tell them where we are, and that they'd be welcome here in Origin. If I find anyone I can trust, I'll send them here. You will? Okay, then. All right. It'll be good to have some more companions out here who understand what they're doing. At least three would help. That would make good our losses. I'm not turning my people over to him. How did you end up here? Me? I used to be a guard in the domed city. Then I got sent to the front during one of the Alba attacks that were happening back then. We were told we were going there to help the farmers. We got no mercy from the Albs and we gave none back. And the people trapped between us? I don't know how they survived. And after it was done and all those bodies were piled up, we turned around and went straight back to the city and just left those people out here to fend for themselves. That didn't seem right to me. So when I heard rumors about Origin and the help it offered people, well, I came here to find something that was actually worth fighting for. Well, we're not turning over our people to you right now. But all that Tamar has to offer is chemical. Exploitation and a lonely death. Right, Only where so knows the way to salvation and the fort. This stronghold and Igadon. He promises you to. <coughs> Oops, we almost killed ourselves there. Hi, I'm Annie. Are you here to make a donation? Every shard you can give will go into building up our little community here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'll make a donation. That is great. I'm glad to hear that. You'll have our gratitude. 
You can be sure that everything you give will go to helping people. And if you like, you can even donate to a specific cause. We are hoping to make the place look better and to get the equipment we need. You know, workbenches and things like that. Let me know what you think would be helpful. I will take care of it. So, what'll it be? I would like to donate shards to the camp. No problem. What would you like to build? Uh Let's hire a trader. There he is. That's how you do it. <sighs> Let's increase this place a little bit more. Now that's where you go to buy your stuff, right there. Let's donate some more. I would like to donate shards. Nope. Let's get a... Right? Not enough shards. Oh no! Okay. I have to go. How much money do we have? Oh, we only got a thousand left. Alright, let's run back up to him. There it is. So that's what happens. You have to buy this, you have to do donate to him. Alright. And then when you speak to him. Travel safely. And uh what goods are good? Got? Yes, of course. And then if you come over here, he sells liquor and a lot of it. So this is where you're gonna come to get your liquor. Let's see if he has any. And it's natural elix. But for us, we still can't craft it because we don't have the skill yet. So once we get there, I'll bring you guys back and we'll do this thing. This before. A friendly jackal. I want one. Get rid of all the other guys. I want one of those. Showing you this. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, plasma rifle, baby. Let's check it out. We're not far off from it. We need dexterity 39 and intelligence 27. Sweet. If someone had told me you would turn up here, I wouldn't have believed it. I heard you were dead. They tried to execute me. I got lucky. Disgraced, but not dead. An exile. Now the great commander stands before me. How times change. So what can one Alp rebel do for another? I need your support. And why should we help you? It seems like we're on the same side, Sestak. The Alps from Zaycor tried to kill me. What do they think of you? The enemy of my enemy is my friend? Isn't the fact that they want us both dead enough reason for us to help each other out? No, that's not enough. Nobody has forgotten your loyalty to the hybrid. You would have done anything in his name. I should kill you here and now, in case you decided to rediscover your loyalty to him.
This is an opportunity, Sustek. We should work together. The opportunity to let an enemy infiltrate our ranks? Your narrow-mindedness is the reason you won't succeed. You're thinking like Alps, but you lack their strength. Speak then, Jax. I will give you three chances to persuade us. Before we decide your fate. You are dependent on Elix. I am not. You can learn from that. You are still tied to Zaykor while you take Elix. Even now, you are taking on a fight only because of your addiction. Elix weakens you. Elix strengthens us physically and mentally. But your emotions weaken you. My experience as an Alp commander can help you defeat the Alps sent after you. They know you as well as you know them. That could be a weakness. And your knowledge of their orders is weeks old. It is useless. Kallax tried to execute me. And yet here you are alive. Hardly convincing. You are fighting the Alexiters. They are my enemy too. Someone from Zakor ordered my execution. Can't you see that our fight is aligned? Yes. Our struggle is not with the Alp people, only with their leaders. The things the Alps stood for, the true vision of our people, these things have been pushed aside since the hybrid appointed the Alexiters. And you were their most faithful servant. You saw to it that the hybrid's word stood above all. You and your brother Kallax worked together to kill all who stood in the hybrid's way. How can I believe oh, you've wow, rejected brothers? all that past loyalty? Your arguments have failed to persuade me. But I will give you the chance to prove your value where words have failed. And why would you do that? Your survival without Elix, away from Zekor, is remarkable. You have lasted far longer than I could have imagined. That makes me curious as to how you have mastered the power of emotions and navigated the world of the free people. It makes me wonder what you will do next. I will find Kallax. Kallax is the greatest threat left in Zaykor after the hybrid. His attempt to execute you, if that is what it was, shows he will stop at nothing to see the hybrid's will is done. That makes him the big threat to you, Separatists. That is true. They say he has taken your place, and now leads the Alb armies into battle. Then we should fight him together. Your quest for revenge. It feels like an emotional need. So what? That doesn't change the facts. Revenge clouds the mind. But whatever the facts, it is still too early for us to attack the Alexiters directly. And if they find you, then they will kill you. I suggest you stop the Alexiters discovering your resurrection. Your raider crashed in Edan. If the Alps there find someone who has seen you alive, then word of your survival may reach Zaykor. You should kill those Alps before they can tell anyone in Zaykor that you are still alive. You think Zaykor doesn't know I'm alive? We have yet to hear any intel that indicates that they have learned of your survival. I don't think we're strong enough to fight him. Huh? Kill my old comrades. I don't think I'm strong enough to fight them. The more time that passes, the greater the risk that Zaykor will learn of your survival. Your challenge will only become more difficult. You should get ready as soon as you can. I thought your fight was with the Alexiders, not the foot soldiers of Zaykor. 
Believe me. I don't like the thought of killing Albs who have not had the chance to think about the truth. But the truths in Edan are not only capable of reporting your presence, but ours too. They threaten our existence. Meaning you want me to take care of your business. You want our help. We want you to prove you share our interests. This will achieve both our aims. I found the thief who stole my armor. So you have recovered your equipment? No, he had sold it on. Then it seems that your ties to Zekar are being cut. You will have to use the equipment you can get from the free people. That is good progress. But there are still some things to take care of. Come back when you have more to report. I want to get my power back. The power I had as an Alp. Of course you do. You were once the most powerful field commander in Zekor. But as the Elix has drained from your body, so is your power. You will have to find other ways to acquire strength. You cannot reverse that process now. You have changed, Jax. You must accept that change. The free people face destruction at the hands of the Alps. And they are now your only chance of survival. You must learn their skills and perfect them if you or they are to survive. I think your fate is now tied to theirs. Where can I go to improve my weapons and armor? Try the cities of the free people, or search the ruins of the old world. Whatever you do, you will need to improve the standard of your equipment if you are going to fight the Alps in the dam. Which faction do you think is most effective? They each have their own strengths and abilities. The Berserkers are powerful mages, but they use antiquated weapons and reject most technology. The Outlaws are experts with old-world projectile weapons. They have fewer rules and a freer life. If it is technology you see, then that can only really be found in the hands of the clerics. But no faction will teach you their skills unless you can show that you agree with their way of life. That you are willing to join them. I came to enlist your help, not that of the free people. And I am helping you. Now you must do your part. What you mean is you don't trust me? No. Not enough to risk the survival of my people on that trust. Maybe that will change one day. But until then, you must be satisfied with this alliance as it is. Very well. Where can I find the Alps in Edan? They are monitoring the converter in Edan. Someday Zekor hopes to reclaim it. I will send the coordinates to your adjutor. I've killed the Alps in Edan. As we have done. So I have heard. It seems you are willing to fight against Zekor. You did well, Jax. The cleric's attack has been pushed back. We are preparing our counterattack. Save your troops for the converters. We must secure the Elix supply. I will see that is done. Why do they do it, Jax? Can't they see these attacks are hopeless? Emotions make animals of men. Don't try to understand them. I think the time is drawing near, Kallax. I think the hybrid will soon take us to the next level of evolution. The hybrid sees all. The hybrid will be served. His is the future. But then you and Kallax never were the squeamish sort. Killing those few soldiers to brute force. You need a more strategic approach to deal with the forces in Zekor. That is true. But you have shown a measure of the skills that will be required if you are to achieve your goals. 
What else do you have to report? The changes in me are having other effects. I'm having visions. What have you seen? I'm not sure. I think they were visions from my past. What have you learned from them? Learned? Nothing. The visions have only given me more questions. That may be so for now, but do not dismiss them. It may be that they have answers to offer you. What is causing them? I don't know for sure. There are many stories of Albs who have had visions as their bodies fought against Helix's withdrawal. They say that it was something similar that gave the hybrid his first visions, but who knows? All there is around the hybrid are stories, few facts. But perhaps these visions will help you to learn who you really are, now that Zekar has lost its power over you. Perhaps. That is good progress. But there are still some things to take care of. Come back when you have more to report. Alright, I think we're gonna end that conversation there. So, we have made some progress here, so that's pretty good. I'm happy about that. And we know that what we want to do in order to level faster is get our chemistry on and start making our own Elix. I've shown you where to go to get everything. Alright, where is the teleport pad around here? The area here is rather worrisome. So I'm going to find a teleport pad to secure this location and continue on with our journey. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I hope this helps you guys in your progress. You know, we still got to get our dexterity up so we can learn chemistry. But once we do, we'll be golden. We'll be making elix and making our own levels and skills and stuff like that out of that. Out of the places that I showed you to go to, the people to buy it from. The best way to get uh, uh, the elixir is steal it from the sleeping guards. Which you can go and sleep, go back, steal again, which I've tested. And it is working. Just sleep twice. For two mornings, get up, go back to the, the city, steal from everybody, get their money, and then just go buy the liquor and the elix that you need and make your potions. So, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, play hard, give hard, and until next time, take it easy.